Well, Kim. Sorry, I'm looking at microphone and settings and stuff. Alright. Welcome to SCP Secret Files. I have played this game completely twice. Um, and I tried to record it the second time on an unlisted video now on my channel, but what happened was it completely screwed the audio where you couldn't hear anything. None. No audio. No microphone. No game audio. Nothing. Oh, I can continue. That's fine. Okay, and I gotta say, there are four stories, two of them my favorites. This one, SCP-239, and SCP-701. This one's not that bad, either, 7457. I don't necessarily like the gameplay options for this one, though. But... There was plans, you know, expand the secret files. There's a toaster one too, but you know, whatever. Anyways, point being, welcome to SCP Secret Files. Now, this game, kind of old-ish. Well, not really. I love this game. It's awesome. I should shut up and just start playing. <laughs> English, continue. Pix main. intro I like this uh, I really do like this part I am Carl Carl Astana a few years ago I was preparing for my dissertation in a restaurant on L Street the pies there rather to my liking I became startled when the man said uh, okay you can always pause the video and read it. After seeing that there were many other tables in the rush, empty tables in the restaurant, I said to this man, Excuse me, I don't believe I know you. Is there something I can help you with? Or, look, the seat's occupied. Find yourself another table, alright? Alright, now I'm going to say what I wanted to say. What I love about this, this part of the game, is it makes you feel like you're playing a uh, game, I think it came out in 2017. But a game called Firewatch. It's a pretty cool game. If you want to see, if you want to see, you can play that game too. Uh, leave a leave a comment down below. You know, I'm gonna be posting this video on both my VODs channel and my main channel, so just keep that in mind. Also, if you don't know already, I have a VODs channel. There'll probably be a tag or something that pops up right about now. That'll take you to it, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of it. Alright, let's do this. Excuse me, I don't believe I know you. Is there something I could help you with? Without answering my question, the man continue talking to himself. Well, look, so here you are, your graduation soon, and clearly you need a job, huh? Well, it just so happens that we have a, just a job for you, and, oh, 
I don't have to click about it. Man paused to add emphasis. A mysterious, mysterious job. A wonderful, wonderful one. Thank you, but I have no interest in proposal. Mysterious and wonderful, huh? Sounds interesting. I don't know why they ask like issues like this. It's always. You guys ever notice every time I record, I always have an issue. Always something. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if my microphone isn't working at this rate. Mysterious and wonderful, huh? Sounds interesting. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. He then handed me a business card. Both sides of the business card were black, with three letters printed neatly on one side. SCP. Carl Estana, 142 E Washington Street, Madison. W.I. What state is that? It's not Wyoming. It's not Washington. Oh, huh, what state is that? I don't know what state this is. W.I. Congratulations on becoming a member of the SCP Foundation. The Foundation highly values and knowledge. Something. And we firmly believe that you are the one we have been searching for. I assume the position of Assistant, Archivist, and Archive Department Group 3, Director Chuck Iyer. 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 Superior, I guess this is. Go to the security office in se uh, of Sector 3, 2012, 0900 hours to pick up your employee card. Look forward to working with you. Current. Something Department of Site 105, SCP Foundation, Secure, Contain, Protect. I hate the aspect ratio when I have to read stuff. Oh, cue the awesome intro. Since the beginning of civilization, the world has been full of unknown things. Due to their existence, the balance of mankind's peaceful life has been upset. However, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, there will always be anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come from or what their purpose is. These questions plague mankind and affect our daily lives. It's because of this that we founded the SCP Foundation, an organization dedicated to containing anomalous items, individuals, and phenomena. The SCP Foundation is committed to maintaining the normalcy of the world so that people can their free of fear, while ordinary people live in the community. Look at that thing. Prevent them from being exposed to the public, so that people may live in a rational and ordinary world. We secure, we contain, we protect.
I'm in Ever. <laughs> Okay. Not high enough. There we go, that's better. Operating clandestine and worldwide, the Foundation operates beyond jurisdiction. Empowered and entrusted by every major national government with the task of containing anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena. These anomalies pose a significant threat to global security by threatening either physical or psychological harm. The Foundation operates to maintain normalcy so that the worldwide civilian population can live and go on with their daily lives. <coughs> Excuse me, I think I, think I have a cognito hazard. <laughs> Anyways, uh, their daily lives without fear, mistrust, or doubt in the personal beliefs. I can't believe it just said Cognito House. And to maintain human independence from extraterrestrial, extra dimensional, and other extra normal influence. SCP Foundation. Secure. Foundation secures anomalies with the goal of preventing them from falling into into the hands of civilian or rival agencies though uh, through extensive observation and surveillance and by acting to intercept yeah intercept such anomalies at the earliest opportunity was only four men who not Hitler and his party what the hell H I T L K R H I T it's some um, whole bunch of stuff if you like pause the video and try to focus on it enough you could probably see all this but you know Nine fourteen is a reference, by the way, the SCP nine fourteen. Uh, if you guys didn't know that, uh, let me in. No. I know exactly where it is. So. No, nine three five. This is my room. Right here in my room. Bang, bang, bang. Let me in. Okay, fine. Thank you, useful feature that will totally be throughout in this entire game. I have a messy office. Ooh, I've never seen this before. Is there a little fella in there? I can't tell. I can't see anything. Harry. Where's Harry? I want to see Harry. I don't see anything. There's the plague, Dr. Plushy. I found it. There's uh, screenshots of the game.
There's Ooh, picture of the plague doctor plushie. The hell? I don't know. I'm actually exploring now that I know what this playthrough is. More SCP screenshots. Oh well. All right. Let me close the door. Okay. We just got a role play that we did. Don't close my door. Initiating the CPIA. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, uh, get welcome to part two, I guess. Uh, or I don't know how this is gonna work. I guess I just have to. Put these videos together um okay so i was explaining to the part of the video that wasn't recorded apparently that uh, this next part when i'm inside this is very complicated and uh because of the aspect ratio of my screen it's it bugs out I, i'm usually unable to move move on we're just gonna go past all this because I, mean, I can't see anything anyways oh my phone at? okay I'll go with that Okay, I'm gonna get this past this part, then I'm gonna do this. So it's gonna be just gonna be two cuts. I'm sorry. This is gonna be annoying until then. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, guys, I'm just going to cut the video here. Hold on. Cue the cut. <laughs> Alright, here's the next cut. It's going to look a little wonky, and I'm sorry. I'll fix it once we get out of this and next save point. But, uh, I'm just going to have to deal with it for now. That's the only way I can fix the problem. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Rick and Morty. to get on getting some serious work to done today then please do me a favor and shut the hell up <laughs> What's my job, Director Ayer? Ayer? I'll keep an eye on that bus. Hey, Director Ayer? I'm not be given the chance to work here at the Archives Department. Why, why did I suddenly go turn into John F. Kennedy there for a second? Young man, this, this man is, this place is not what you think. You must abandon your past self and start again from zero. If you hope to learn to survive here, no one will take care of you. You must demonstrate your own ability. Understood, Director I. <laughs> You will suffer, Carl. I suggest you prepare a paper bag for the vomit to come. He's just missing you. Dr. Ham is one of the most knowledgeable containment specialists in the Foundation. Guys, you still have no idea what you will be doing to you. Now move it. Remember, Carl. Stay sane and always and all. Good. Application of special containment equipment. Oh, this is the, uh, this is this, this is the stuff we use later on in the game. I really should shut up about that. For those of you who haven't even seen the game, which I highly doubt any of you that, uh, there's anyone here that hasn't seen the game. But in the off chance that you haven't heard of this game and seen this game, I'm sorry. Okay, I've played, I've, I've beaten the game like twice, alright? The second time I was trying to record it, but... Jason it Carter under. is a death row inmate. I like the art style. In exchange one. for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. Upon completion of his work, he will be a free man. Jason Carter is now D-503. Day 1. Alright, can I, uh... Okay, surprise cut there. I'm sorry. This works. Mm -hmm. 
Where's the camera? Where where is this camera? No. Nope. I know there's a camera in here somewhere. I think the camera well Oh, wait a minute, it's this room. Camera B right over here. Where are you? Anyways. I'm not sure I wanna wear this ninja equipment, sirs. Okay, if you insist. This feels funny. What am I supposed to do with this? Kind of radar. Nice walls. Hey, can I detect you guys? Hey. I know you can hear me in there. This is stupid foundation personnel. Screw this foundation stuff. Hey, quit with the lights. And, and the sounds too while you're at it. D-503 was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He must find them out for himself. Why am I in a desert? That wasn't there before.
Get a grip, man. Better be getting paid for this. No sound. Just fire burning. This was D-503's first day of work. SCP protocol mandates uh, well, that the D503 now undergo uh, a psychological evaluation. Why why'd you anesthetize me? Ugh. Really? Huh? What's this? What some what? I don't wanna take a test. Fine, I'll take to take the stupid test. Grab this, Make the fourth place. You so suck it. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine days, huh? I want my burger. Give me my burger. Yeah? What? Throw my burger in the floor. I'm still gonna eat it. It's still a burger. Yeah. It's not like this. It's not like this place is very dirty. Okay, it's very dirty. But that's not the point! Can I sleep now? Alright. No, wait. This was the first day D-503 psychological data was collected. You're probably wondering, how can this job earn freedom for a death row inmate? Well, I can't. But he didn't know that. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Welcome to today's training conference. Today, I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. The desert you saw just now is SCP-7457. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. As everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Yeah, about what is that? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton. Third Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. 
Human anomalies, regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond our control. The work of the Foundation is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Hello, Dr. Hem. I'm Mark Harris, a research intern from Site 27. In the video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with and now? Okay, Mark. What I can tell you now is that everything you see is part of SCP-7457. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult to understand at first. Just know that it or they have their own rules. Yes, Perhaps you'll do. understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. The first week was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth day. What's it gonna mean? Okay, nope, shut up. Oh, yep. Same old, same old. Grab my thing, grab my suit. Alright, let's. Bastard, right? Let's go, I wanna go back to bed. Let's have a look at what happened. No. Faster, boy, faster. Drive your pilk. Black spindle. A spindle of thick black cable that is wound too tightly to see what's inside. It's much heavier than it looks. And nobody knows why. It takes a lot of effort to carry. 110 kilograms. I have a feeling that number is going to change at some point, but. Ah, oh, I found a glitch. Yes. I'm probably gonna get copyrighted for that. Let me go. 
rectangle not angle Oh, the fact my truck was about to completely flip over. You know. I don't think I want to. I'm walking home, guys. See ya. Nah, I'm just kidding. On your side, though. <laughs> it's hard to walk in the sand, right? D503 had completed his task. However, he did not realize that he had already encountered. What is it? Sound. I'm too tired for this. Start test. Identification correct. Oh god. 125. Five, ten, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Okay, which one of you is false? I need to sleep. No camera, I saw that. No that camera. Night, there should be a camera there. Five oh three's psychological data showed abnormal fluctuations. Analysis tells us that D five oh three is true. Unfortunately though, we have no way of knowing what he dreamed of. SCP-7457's impact on D-503. Are there any questions before we go on? Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations Department of Site-21. Ah, uh, what a woman. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign them these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? Okay, our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every 8 minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. It is worth noting, though, 
that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. However, it still has the potential to become a significant problem in the future. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason. We'll get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? Okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. Good. Let's move on. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became most obvious on day 15 of the test. Due to the conditions that day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely a bad day, perhaps the worst, even for a death row inmate. Day 15. What? D-503 found a radar that perfectly resembled his own. However, D-503 didn't seem to think much of it. Eh. Another radar. I guess I have an extra. Why is it, why is it, why 10 kilograms less? I don't know, I don't care. I want to get this job done and over with so I can leave. Let's pull out, it was going a lot faster than that. Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D-503. He still managed to complete his work on day 15. But then he encountered an incident. A sandstorm. D-503 walked in the sandstorm for a long walked? time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. What did we burn the truck to? Stop scaring me. Go, 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 go. Book it. Book it, book it, book it, book it, book it, book it. D-503 managed to find a site just as he was beginning to grow weak with exhaustion. A site he was not familiar with. <laughs> What the hell? Hello, sir. 
Sir, can I help you? I had five days left. Lie. Well, you can quite clearly see what's inside this suit. Let's check. Approximately 13 hours later, a visibly trembling D-503 returned to Site 8. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. We just got back and I gotta take this test? Okay, fine. Major fluctuations can now be observed in D-503's physiological data. of the psychological evaluation were so troubling we had to abort the mission shut up I can't stand that noise anymore D-503 was able to break away from the foundation's control I'm he going has to test results of other level D personnel who were analyzed Wait. at SCP-74 on the screen. That's right. None of the level D personnel at SCP-7457 have ever been able to leave this desert. Answer that phone and we'll stop ringing. Humans often believe that their fate is in their own hands, that all choices come from their own free will. They don't realize that we humans form only a small part of this world. Out there, in the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert.
need to answer the phone. I need to answer the phone. I need to answer the phone. I need to answer the phone. This is awesome. Click here to add comments. Hi, you Carl. How did it feel? 
be honest, a little comfortable. And we got an aspirin, I could use a few. Hey buddy, don't throw up on the floor. Stop messing with them, Stuart. Yeah, stop messing with me, Stuart. Gal, that was only the beginning. You gotta learn to get used to it. What's it? I got it. And... Everyone here wants to teach you something, girl. Live with it. Come on, Stuart. Thank you. I feel much better now. You're welcome to join us, Carol. The past hour has been torture. I don't know how the others managed to hold on. Messed up during the training, so I fell off, 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 fell off a cliff, fell into icy water, and choked hard. I don't know how I even recall any of this because I have no member of ever visiting cliffs or waterfalls, but it was also real. I could even taste it in my mouth that foul taste of river water. But in any case, it's my first day at the foundation. I gotta live the cafeteria and get something to eat. Maybe that'll make my stomach feel better. August 13th, 2012. It's 2012, but you know. Who says 20, Who says 2024 anymore? Right. I've been recording this on November 20th, uh, 2024, so. Intelligence Agency. Alright. This will do for the first, first video, the first part of this short series. <laughs> There's only going to be four episodes. <laughs> One for each SCP. Mm, well, five. Maybe five episodes. Four or five. One for each SCP. Mm, except the toaster one. I think we're going to include that one in the end. Whatever. Anyways, regardless, I hope you guys liked the video. If you didn't, and go down in the comments below and tell me why. If you did, go down anyways. You know, it helps <laughs> engagement. <laughs> uh, I'm tired now. It is 7.22. I usually get up at 5 a.m. So, <sighs> regardless, I hope you guys liked this. I hope you guys liked the video. hope you guys liked the game, because the game's pretty cool, actually. And each, each uh, SCP has a different art style. Uh, yes. So, awesome on that. But, uh, if you guys like the video, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys all next time.